Okay, today, as you can tell, we're sitting there in a little pods. We are going to grab today. Alright, so we're going to be doing certain types of transformations today. Okay, here's the different ones we've had up to this point. These are the formulas you should have in your notes. If you don't, you need to run there right now because you need them for the test today. Okay, translations when you merely slide a picture. Right, left, up, down. Most people just use their fingers to count how, how far they're sliding. Reflections. This is the formula that I give you. Most people are really good about, like, if you're going across the x-axis, they know just to flip it over, or across the y-axis, just flip it over. Most people can do it by hand. But if you have the formula, it's pretty easy. How I remember it, if you're going across the x-axis, the x letter won't change, the y number does. Because the x will stay the same. The mirror doesn't move. The rest of the picture does. Okay, and then if you're going across the y-axis, the y-axis wouldn't change the x letter. That's how I remember it. Okay? The rotation, there's three rotations. Those are the ones that throughout the day today have caused the most problems. For some reason, people can't figure out how you switch things. So if I give you a coordinate, like one comma two, and we're gonna rotate it clockwise, you flip the two numbers around, you, you exchange the two numbers, and you make the back one negative. That's what you do, so now it's two negative one. That rotates it clockwise 90 degrees. Question. Wait, did you say we have a test today? Yep. Um, we have tests next week, but we need to know these for the test. They're all in the test. Okay. So, okay. Uh, counterclockwise, same thing. You switch the two numbers, the first one's negative. And then the last one, 180 degrees, both the numbers are negative. You just leave them the same, X and Y, you just make them both negative. Okay, or both positive, whatever the numbers are. Okay. Uh, dilation is the only one we're going to have to wait till Monday. Because of all the classes today, no classes got to it. I just know that from the time. Okay? All right. What we're going to do right now, I'm going to hand out some graph paper, and we are, going, we are going to draw a picture and go through the different types of transformation. In life. Okay, so let me hand out some graph paper. You need a pencil, please. So I have a pencil up. Not a pencil. You're going to make a sketch. I think it looks like more now. axis on there. So I'm going to actually show you what I mean by that. Because some people were taking too much time yesterday to do that. So let me uh, show you how that works. Um, okay. So if you have your graph paper, um, basically like if this is your picture of your paper that's in front of you, this is what I would do. This would be the y-axis. This would be the x-axis. I would just draw a mock picture where the where the grids meet. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't have to be perfect. I prefer that you don't do the fold technique. Um, I, I don't mind if you fold your paper. What I mean by that is some people look in the first class today were just relying on the fold as their axis. They weren't even drawing the line, and they couldn't see it later when the paper flattened back out again. So I would actually physically draw the x axis. Okay. So does everyone have them in there somewhere? Okay, now what I have is I already have picked out one of the drawings we're going to do, and it's on your little piece of paper here. So every group should have a little piece of paper in front of them. We are going to draw number three, the pentagon. Pentagon. So number three. Whoa. We're going to draw number three, the pentagon. So on your on your graphic right now, use your pencil, draw that pentagon. I think it's like H I J K L. H I J. L, and I don't think they're in that particular order. They're, I just gave you five letters there, and you're supposed to draw it. Seven. Alright. And once you have your your drawing, we'll continue from there.
Okay, now when you're drawing it, it should look something like what I have on the board. Make sure you have the lines drawn, because some people just did dots in the earlier classes. Make sure you draw the lines that actually connect them to segments. And you need to label the letters, H, I, J, K, L, or wherever they go. Okay. So, right. Okay. Um, Hopefully that made sense. Yeah. Does that look like the, the graph you had? Yeah. Okay. Are we good? Yeah. All right, here's what we're going to do. At your little pod, your little station you're at, there's a little piece of paper on it, like such. This one. It has whatever transformation you're going to do, your group. So like this group is translate, that group I believe is rotation uh, by a certain type. We have, I think, reflection. All right, you're going to do that to this picture. Now, I'm going to walk around the room. After you are done, your group is done, I'm going to take a picture of one of your drawings, the person who had the best looking drawing. And we're going to display it on the board so we can actually look at what happened to this picture as you did it. Now, the new picture has to be done in color pencil. So I'm going to give you one. You guys have the So you can't say you can use one Yeah, there's an extra one. You like broke Okay, oh, I gotta tell you. For trade fighter. You guys are on the show. Down to right. Down to right. Okay. I'm right. Okay, when you are done, I'm going to walk around and take the picture, but your group has to be completely done. I, I put down the point and I just realized I put this by. You're not taking my picture. No, it has not. Question? Yeah. Okay, when you're done, I'm going to walk around, but your whole group is going to be. Because I'm going to pick out the best one out of the group. Yeah. Pretty sure this is. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. black. Do it. Oh, oh fine. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, so and we go this one. Not because of that it's darker. It's it's that it's it's Whoa, is that like a six inch frozen paper? Well, it's it's is an iPad Pro. Oh, it's the big iPad. I'm pretty sure mine is the one else. I'm going I'm going counterclockwise. Yeah, I 
I think mine looks more nice because it's purple. It's green. It's better. I don't know what you I'll just show it. I'm not talking about it. Wow. I just show it. Wow. 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 Why can't you just make the first one and then put it in the end? Because. Yeah, I'm exactly I'm 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 By 180. All right, so let's talk about what rotating in, uh, in curves and like what you have to do. Okay, the easiest way to do rotation by 180 is to make both numbers negative. Whatever the coordinates are. So if this coordinate here is negative 3, 5, then it'll become, so if it's negative 3, 5, you're going to just change both numbers to be the opposite. That's, that's the easiest way. So what happens here? It goes 3, negative 5. This is where H is, and you can see that. Okay? Now, visually, what happens here is that this object is turning like on a steering wheel down to there. So if you had a steering wheel, you'd turn it all the way around. H would be over here. J would be here. I would be at the very bottom. Because, it, again, it's rotating like on a circular path. That's what's happening. So, there's another picture in this room that looks like that. Yeah. What picture did you guys have? Reflection across the x-axis. Do you agree that it looked like that? Yeah, it was close, right? So let me let me show you the difference here. So uh, let's get rid of this picture. And I think it was that one. I know, it's All right, so this is this is their picture. Now they have reflection. Their top coordinate is going to go to the bottom. Top goes bottom. J goes to the bottom. The only difference between this picture, which is reflection, and the rotation, is that the letters are in different order. Because did you turn it so the H would be in a different location, or did it just go straight down? Yeah. So this one is reflection. So the letters just went straight down. When we rotate it. This J came to here because of the way that it turned. So that's why I can tell the difference instantly. Did you rotate or did you reflect because where the letters land? So does that make sense? Why should you both of those? Okay, now let's go to another group that I skipped over. Uh, let me turn this over. I think I have it up to them. Yeah. There. All right. I believe this is the first group, right? All right. What did you guys have to do? Translation. Now, what was the exact rules you had to do to your original picture? Down, two, right, three. Down, two, right, three. So their pictures went down, two. So each dot went down, two, over, three. 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 That's what should happen. Now, I just picked those things because I knew the I and J might run into each other. But 
Does that make sense? Like what they did? They're just sliding to a new location and then turn the letters in basically the same order. It's just in a different spot on the grid. Okay, that was good. Okay, did I skip any others? Oh, yes. All right. Okay, I believe that's the ladies in the back, correct? What was your particular thing that you had to do? On the reflection on the Y axis. Reflection across the Y. Now, this is the Y axis. The, the actual picture is perfectly centered over it. Like, I is here, the middle of this bottom is here. So when they reflected, the picture didn't move. It was literally the same picture. It was perfectly balanced. It was symmetrical. That's why I actually picked this picture. Now, now that you did that, what was the only thing that did change in your picture, though? The letters. The letters, yeah. H went to the other side. J went to the other side. I stayed. G, uh, K and L moved. Just the labels did. Even though the picture doesn't look like it, but these points over here went across. These went over this one. Because it like, flipped over. Okay. Make sense? Mm -hmm. And then I believe we have, what, two more? We have, oh, we did that one. This one. Yeah. Now let me, uh, let me fix this. I think that's how it turns out. Ryan, what's your picture? Yeah. All right. So this is Ryan. What do you guys have to do? All right. Rotation. 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 Clockwise 90 degrees. So now this is easy. Right? There's basically just snapped to a grid sideways because it just kind of like fell over. And how I knew it was going to be right here, this is along the x axis. When you turn it 90 degrees, it'll be along the y axis. It's perfectly balanced. Right? Now, the formula going clockwise, you change the coordinates and you make the second one negative. So this number here was named 3, 5. When you, when you do a clockwise rotation, you flip the numbers and you make the second one negative. So if negative negative makes positive. But that's how it works, and that's why H came over to be 5 on the 3. Question? How come you don't, like, turn it on the, like, L point? Oh, like, it doesn't turn here? Yeah. Um, because it's actually, um, when you when you rotate objects, it's based on where 0, 0 is at. Okay. And that's how it turns. Okay. So this point here wouldn't move. The rest of them would. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like a lot of people are like, oh, it should just turn on the L. No, it turns where the zero zero is. So the hardest part, if the picture is floating out in the middle of nowhere, like up here, and you rotate it, it moves long distances because it's farther from zero zero. So it'll be over here somewhere. So, I mean, those are more difficult to understand. Like, you have to use the formula when they're farther away. Like, this easy one, I could have probably done it by hand, just by the way it snaps. All right, um, was, was there any group that I left out? I think I covered everyone, correct? Did I, oh. Okay, oh yeah, that's right. So, um, last one here, um, this is yours, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, this is going the other side. So now we're going, now we're going counterclockwise. So the, the only difference is in the formula. So H here is named three comma five. When you do counterclockwise, you flip the coordinates around and you make the first one negative now. That's the difference. That goes counterclockwise. So now H is at negative five, negative three. But again, most people could like see it. Like it's Okay, questions on what we have. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Take your piece of paper, flip it over. You need to redraw the x and y axis. So, do that right now. We'll give you a little bit of time. This is actually your ticket out the door. Okay, we are going to draw a picture on this side of the paper. Now, I want you to listen to the instructions because the instructions are kind of difficult. Okay, we're going to draw a picture. The picture we're going to draw is actually number four on your little piece.
piece of paper oh, in front of you. Triangle. It's called the big triangle. So we're going to draw that. So what I like to do, I would like you to draw the original picture with your pencil. So do that right now. So we're going to draw number four on that little piece of paper, the big triangle. Know your original picture. This is the difference. You are not going to go off the little piece of paper that's in front of you. We are going to do three transformations back to back to back on this picture. What? So I'll give you those transformations here in a minute. It will move to a completely different area. Every time you move the picture, you're going to perform the next transformation on the new one that you just drew. Oh. So you have to use colored pencils. So you're going to have four pictures when we're done. All four. This one and the three others because we're going to move it three times. Okay? So, again, I'm going to repeat that. We are going to do three transformations and every time you move the picture, the next transformation will take place on the new picture you just drew. So that's the thing. You've got to keep track of what the coordinates are every time you move it. Okay, so here's your transformation. The first one, number one, I'm just going to put them over here. So number one, we are going to translate. How we're going to translate, I want to go up four, left five. Up four, left five. Once you're done with that picture, it should be new, and you're using a colored pencil, it should be in a new area. Then, on this picture, you're going to do the second transformation, which is going to be a rotation. The rotation you're going to do is counterclockwise 90 degrees. Counterclockwise 90. Once you're done with that picture, so that will be a different color, then you're going to do the last transformation for that picture. You're going to do number three, which is the reflection. You're going to do the reflection across the y-axis. You should have four pictures when you're done. I know exactly what it looks like when it's done. And I'm looking to see, do you have all four pictures? That is your ticket out the door. So that's where you need practice. You need to keep track where your coordinates are, because you'll need that for the formula, especially when you rotate. This rotation will not be simple if you don't have the coordinates. Okay. It's only the first one, so you can erase it in pencil. No, it's 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 that one. Yeah, you can erase it. You can erase it in pencil. How do I erase this one? It don't work right. All right, I'm gonna check twice. Yeah, I'm writing down the fourth one. Oh, I did. As you're working, I'm going to walk around and collect paper. Thank you. 
Oh. Yeah, I have the picture on the board so you can actually see how I did it. Okay, so I moved it up to the left. I rotated that red one counterclockwise 90, that's the blue one. And again, how I did that so fast. I knew that all I had to do was switch the coordinates and make the first one negative. That's how you go counter. So this coordinate became negative 7, negative 9. So negative 7, negative 9. That was N. N became negative 9, 0. And O was um, negative 3, 5. So boom, boom. So again, so you just switch the coordinates, make one negative. The first one negative. Cross the y axis, that's easy. Just flip it over. Go the same distance. Same distance, same distance. That's the easiest way to do the y-axis reflection. I'm looking for all of those. Once you are done, make sure your name's on it. I want it in the basket. Okay, once you're done, make sure those colored pencils get back in the boxes, please. Can you make a zero negative? No! Never heard of those. That's it, but I did it all up. It's still original triangle. So Zuri, you're the only one that didn't listen to my one instruction I had. You do have a new picture.